Yes, indeed, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Jay Jordan, and it's the morning after the night before the Liberty played on Sunday, June 9th, down at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, against the Washington Mystics. It was the end of a seven games and 11 day stretch that they were going through. It was the second day of a back to back. They played the previous day, which was a Saturday in Connecticut against the undefeated Connecticut Sun. And then they had to play against the winless Mystics. And I'm happy to say that the Liberty won that game. Final score, 93-88. The Liberty go 5-0 in the Commissioner's Cup group play with a loss by Seattle yesterday as well. They clinched home court in the Commissioner's Cup final, which takes place on June 25th. That was their seventh win in a row. Um, there's just so many positives for the Liberty here, but it wasn't all rainbows and butterflies in this game. It was a tight one all the way down to the last minute. So as always in this video, we'll go over the game itself, the box score, and then my thoughts at the end. If you like this type of content and you want me to keep creating it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and hit those noti bells, set them to all. So you get notified anytime I post salute. So I'll preface this game by saying that uh, I know you guys saw the cover photo. It was Ellie's birthday. Ellie is the elephant mascot for the New York Liberty. She's become a phenomenon even past just the WNBA. Um, people all around know her for her energy and the way that she um, dances on and off the court. So they're giving out towels for Ellie's birthday. Um, the crowd, it was a nice crowd there for her birthday as well. And the Liberty needed it. They were on the second night of a back-to-back -back and against a winless Washington team who definitely was looking to try and steal a win from us to get their first win of the season. So we'll start off with the starting lineups for both teams. Um, with Courtney Vandersloot still out due to personal reasons and Niara Sabli um, still out due to her back injury. Um, the starting lineup was Sabrina Ionescu, Benai Jelani Hamilton, Kayla Thornton, Brianna Stewart, and John Cole Jones. That's the lineup that the Liberty have been going with in Vandersloot's absence. For the Washington Mystics, they're still without Brittany Sykes and Shakira Austin. So they went with Julie Van Lu, Ariel Atkins, Carly Samuelson, Aliyah Edwards, the rookie, and Steph Dolson, the former Liberty player. It was a back and forth first quarter. You could tell the Liberty were tired. Washington was getting some very good looks. They were running some good action. The Liberty were, they came out with good energy for the first quarter. It's always easy to come out in the first quarter with some energy, especially at home with the adrenaline. You just being home, the crowd trying to give you something. So the first quarter ended with the Liberty up 24 to 23. Um, no blowout first quarter like the Liberty have been doing in games past. The second quarter, uh, more of the same. Um, Liberty with some lazy passes, um, slow defensive rotations. Um, the bench for the Mystics came in big. Maisha Heinz Allen and Jade Melbourne. Um, we'll talk about Jade later, but um, she's the young Australian, the youngest player in the league, 21 years old, playing in front of her. Her national team coach for um, Australia and our coach, Sandy Brondello. Um, so it looks like she had a point to prove these last two games she's played against us. But at halftime, it was a tie game. Um, Liberty and Mystics tied at 45. 45 apiece. Um, at the third quarter... The Mystics actually took the lead for a quick second, um, but the Liberty ended up outscoring them 27 to 25 in the quarter. Still more of the same. There was never a time where I thought the Liberty had this game in the bag. Um, just turnovers, defensive rotations. Every time we would go on a little run, Washington would call a timeout, come back, go on their run, and either tie or retake the lead. Um, going into the fourth quarter, it was... It was basically nail biting. It was like basically we're so close. Might as well just finish off um this team. Might as well go five and zero oh and keep the winning streak alive. We got a couple possessions towards the end where John Quell got some good baskets. 
there was a, a questionable um could have been an eight second violation the the mystics had trapped sabrina in the corner and luckily we got the ball advanced past half court to avoid the eight second violation john quell seals the game with a layup but fo gets fouled um on the following possession after they score she hit some free throws Jade Melbourne almost hit a three to send the game to overtime at one point, but the Liberty end up pulling out the win 93 to 88. I did say before the game that the bench would have to play a very important part in this win, being on the second night of a back to back. And they did. Le Leo had a, a standout game, which we'll see in the box score with her threes. Kennedy Burke contributed. Even Ivana Dorkic came off the bench and gave a, a short, a little spark for the team. All right, so let's take a look at the box score here. Um, the Mystics, as you can see, 0-12, um, Liberty 11-2. and 2. Let's Start with the Washington Mystics. We have Ariel Atkins here. With, she played 37 minutes, had 13 points, 2 rebounds, 5 assists. Um, she's struggling being the number one option on the team. Um, Ariel is more of a, like a B, a B and C option. She's not the person you can just say, give the ball and say, go help us win this game. Julie Van Lu, the Belgian, had eight points and four assists. Carly Samuelson had five points and two assists. Aaliyah Edwards had nine points and six rebounds in 30 minutes. And Steph Dawson had seven points and two rebounds. Their bench is what really did us in. Well, almost did us in, I should say. Maisha Heinz Allen, 20 points, eight rebounds, seven assists. So she almost had a triple double off the bench in 24 minutes. Um, she's a mismatch because she could score from three and she's good at rolling to the basket and posting up so she's a, a mismatch for us walker kimbrough had five off the bench jane jade melbourne had 21 points in 13 minutes eight for 12 from the field three for six from three like i mentioned she was showing out for her national um, team coach in sandy brondello maybe trying to make the roster if she is on if she's not on it already or trying to get a starting spot if she's not the starter but she's really been hooping um, against us the last two games. She likes to attack us. And Engsler had three minutes, no points. For the Liberty, um, Sabrina played 34 minutes, had 19 points, six rebounds, eight assists. Good all-around game. But the turnover, she had eight turnovers, which is a recipe for disaster for your starting guard. But Nigel Laney Hamilton didn't score as much, had five points in 32 minutes, but had 10 rebounds and six assists as she had seven turnovers. So our starting backcourt had 15 turnovers between them, which is not good at all. Um, Kayla Thornton, not a good offensive game. 17 minutes, two points, four rebounds, a steal and a block. Stewie, 36 minutes, had 14.7 rebounds, got most of her points from the foul line there with six for six from the line she's still struggling from three with the 0 for five um, and she did have five fouls john quell this is her career high in the liberty jersey 29 points eight rebounds um three assists for her only missed four shots it was three for five from three had two blocks one big block on jane melbourne after she blew by benigel laney and she was a plus seven in her minutes our bench leo the the German Le Leonie Fibich, 24 minutes, 12 points, three rebounds, four for eight from three. Once she starts getting that three down consistently, I'll be game over. Um, she had some nice wide open ones that she missed. Um, did have five fouls. She did say in one of the press conferences, she's still struggling between what the refs here in, in the W call as a foul and don't call as a foul. But sometimes they call and sometimes they don't depending on, I guess, time of game. Um, Kennedy Burke had a, a better game as she's been having in, in games past. 11 minutes, 9 points. Gave us a spark there. Um, Doikic, 7 minutes, 3 points. And Marquisha got, like, some first or second quarter minutes. Played 2 minutes, didn't get an attempt on the basket. So that's the box score for that game. My thoughts aren't too many. I'm just happy to Liberty on a 7-game win streak. They won all five games of their Commissioner Cup group play, which clinched them to home court. A chance to defend their Commissioner's Cup trophy. Um, they'll be the first team if they win to go back-to-back -back in the Commissioner's Cup final. 
Um, I'm glad to see Leo coming into her own, starting to get more comfortable with the defense and the offense. Her shot starting to fall. Kennedy as well. Um, now that they have this week off, um, next time they play a Saturday, they'd be able to get an actual practice in. Leo was talking about she's actually played more games than practice. I'm just glad that the Liberty are able to one, get some rest, two, get time to practice to fix up some of the defensive rotations and offensive schemes that um, sometimes some of the players on the bench especially look confused with. Next time they play is the 15th. They played in Las Vegas, 3 p.m. on ABC. So that should be a good one. All right, guys, as always, we've reached the end of the video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit those naughty bells so you get notified next time I post. Uh, make sure you're tuned in for watch alongs all W season long as well. Till next time, salute.